Hi there, today we're going to be talking about how to remove a snap screw or bolt from a hole. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is visit your local hardware store. Uh, if you haven't already got a, a tap tool, a screw or bolt tap tool, um, the local hardware store uh, should have it and they're not that expensive. You should be able to find one uh, very quickly and easily at, at a, a reasonably good price. Uh, you will need to let them know the size of the um, screw uh, hole that you've, you're actually working on. Uh, you'll also need a drill bit, uh, small enough to screw to drill uh, up inside the broken bolt without damaging the, the threads inside the hole. Right, so once you've uh, visited the hardware store or looked for your tools and you've got your, uh, you'll need a uh, obviously a drill bit, uh, obviously a power drill of some description. You'll also need a, a hammer um, and a center punch, preferably with a point, not a, a, not a non-point uh, end. And, uh, and then away we go. So this is a, a visual is illustration. I was rebuilding an Alfa Romeo recently and I was quite frustrated obviously uh, with uh, having a snap bolt um, in the uh, freshly reconditioned engine head. Um, but I just had a few tools laying around and uh, I was able to sort of uh, solve the problem uh, reasonably quickly. You do, we do get these problems from time to time. Uh, you know, uh, snap bolts, snap uh, screws will happen from time to time, and it's good to know how quickly and easily you can remove them with the right tools and doing it the right way. Uh, so don't panic if this happens. It happens to everyone eventually. So, all right, so first of all, you wanna probably mask off the area. Uh, you know, if you're working in a sensitive area, you probably wanna mask off the area. Uh, there'll be shavings. If you're working in a wood, uh, there'll be wood shavings and, and metal, obviously metal shavings around. Uh, if that's not a problem, well then just proceed to the next step. The uh, the next step is the actual first step. And the first step is to, to carefully drill inside the center of the bolt. So if you locate the center of the bolt and you wanna get your center punch. You don't want the drill bit, uh, the head of the build drill bit uh, slipping around anywhere in there and uh, potentially damaging the inside of the thread. Uh, the inside of the thread must be protected at all cost. Uh, but don't panic with your center punch as close to the center as you can get it uh, and your hammer, then you just tap into the center of the broken area of the bolt, uh, the top area of the bolt, uh, until you're reasonably happy that your your drill bit, once you start drilling, uh, when you start drilling, you don't want that drill bit to slip inside the bolt hole and damage the thread, as I mentioned before. So once you've tapped in uh, the, used your uh, center punch, tapped into the top of the drill, uh, tapped into the top of the bolt, um, then you grab your drill, uh, with your drill bit, you then drill into the top of the hull into the center punch mark um, and this will take this could take two or three or four goes at it don't panic um, if you don't get a first go drill in about uh, well depending on the size of your hole just drill in it a little bit uh, and then uh, then you want to the idea of the tapper screw uh, tool is it's an anti-clockwise uh, thread um, as you may or may not know um, the right hand is to screw is usually the old saying lefty loosey righty tidy um, you know relates to the the thread uh, going to the clockwise position when you're fastening something up and anti-clockwise when you when you unfasten it in this case it's it needs to be in the thread on a tapper tool will be in the reverse position it'll be anti-clockwise that you're actually tightening things up and that in obviously that is to to establish some grip um, and you know your whole aim here is to uh, to unscrew or move the broken bolt in an anti-clockwise position to uh, to remove it. So 
the idea, the whole aim here is to get some grip in there first. So drill uh, reasonably deep into your hull, uh, just bit by bit, and then uh, you can test it any, any time you like, as many times as you like. So in order to test it, then you remove the, uh, take the drill away and then start with your your uh, tapper tool. Just uh, put your tapper tool in where the drill hole, where you've just drilled your hole, and tap the tapper tool in there. Um, I just put uh, probably three or four taps, just get it in there, see how solid you are. Grab your shifter or a spanner. Uh, at the top of the tapper tool, you'll uh, it's uh, always square, um, so you're able to get a, a grip. I find a, a shift is easier. Just uh, grab a shifter, um, adjust to the right size, and uh, and just very very gently, very gently and very slowly, just move your tapper tool. You don't want to you strip that um, grip. You want to establish grip. Just slowly move in an anti-clockwise uh, direction just ever so slightly. If you get any slipping there whatsoever, and you probably will the first couple of times, then uh, remove the tapper tool and then repeat the process with the drill. Just go in a little bit further. Uh, you probably want to use your, um, you know, whatever you've got on hand, just to, to, to widen that hole a little bit. Just allow the tapper tool a little bit more um, entry uh, area. And then... Uh, a little bit further, a little bit deeper down, so it gets a good grip. We're all about trying to get a good grip on that bolt. So once you've done that uh, one, maybe two times, maybe even three, uh, keep tr uh, testing and trying your, your tapper tool in an anti-clockwise uh, direction, obviously, and then uh, eventually, <clears throat> as you'll see in this illustration, this video uh, clip, uh, eventually you have success. Um, and you can remove any bolt or screw in uh, most any uh, material, from most any material, uh, without damaging the inside thread. Very important not to damage the inside thread for obvious reasons. Uh, clean up the area that, you, that you've, uh, once you remove your, your broken bolt or screw. In my case, here in this illustration, we uh, clean up the area and, uh, and happy days. I hope this video's been uh, of use to someone. And uh, please, uh, if, you, if it has, please like at the bottom of this video and uh, subscribe to the Wesley Media channel. And don't forget, have a cup of coffee on me and uh, kick back and enjoy the rest of the channel. Good on you.